Shar. I am the artist in residence at FM Brush Company in Glendale, New York, and I'm here to show you how to start a piece of three-dimensional art. A lot of these pieces we found outside or they were from people's homes and things like that, so we're going to enhance them and have fun with them. So let's get started. The first piece we're going to work on is a found piece of art and it's probably from the 1950s. Two of my friends, Veronica and Jackie, were dumpster diving and they found this great piece and we're gonna have fun priming that then painting it. The first thing we're going to do is use the two inch blue ice which is a fabulous brush to use. It's a Palmer, and one of the reasons why I love to use the Palmers on any three-dimensional piece I'm working on is because of the handle. It keeps your hand from getting fatigued. I like the brush because of the filaments in the brush. You've got a lot of spring and elasticity. Do you see how the blue filaments stand up? And then you've got the white filament intermixed the cool thing about that is that you can get a sharp chisel with that brush and you can get a lot of control. Then I've got the one inch blue ice Palmer brush. One of the reasons why I'm using the Palmer is because of the handle. I can get into three dimensional areas and I'm not going to have a handle getting in my way. The next brush is a one inch flat utility brush where it has a handle, it's just a regular handle, and I can actually work it and get into areas where I couldn't get with the Palmer. And I've decided to let this piece speak for itself, and I think because it's a dumpster piece, we're gonna do it abstract, and we're gonna have a lot of fun painting it. I've got a black gold flat, two rounds that are black silver, and one angled black silver brush, and this is what we're gonna paint the entire piece with. Okay, I'm gonna start underneath the piece. Most people don't put enough paint on their brush. They'll take a brush like this and they'll just tip it in there. You can't do anything with that. You need a lot of paint on the brush. So, I've got a lot of paint and I'm gonna start. And I'm going right over the metal and everything. This is what's really cool about the Styx product. And you see how fast I'm working it? You go over metal, you go over plastic, you can go over wood. I'm gonna just move around. I'm gonna make sure I get into the cracks. I'm gonna do the legs up here last because I'm holding the piece with that. By the way, you all have to do this left-handed. <laughs> Not worried about being precise. The good thing about the blue ice, because of the way the filaments are placed and the kind of filaments, you hardly have any brush strokes. This process gives me a chance to become part of the piece. When I'm doing this is when I'm actually coming up with my ideas. And I see the shape, the form, and making it white, priming it, gives me a raw canvas to start working on. Make sure when you flip it over that you hit all the raw areas. And don't worry if you drip or spill, it doesn't matter. When people paint, especially a found piece of art, they try to make it perfect. Don't try to ever make anything perfect, just do it. Paint it and have fun with it. And then you can always go back. If you see a place that you missed, so what? And usually they say with the sticks you have to wait 72 hours, but when you're painting using the primer for a piece of furniture, an hour is enough, half hour even. Now I'm going to base coat our dumpster piece. I'm kind of just working some neutral tones. It's very difficult to get in here, so I'm using the one inch flat, I'm not using the Palmer on this one, because I need to get into these little areas. Just getting a nice flow of color. Actually, right now I decided I need a little bit more spark. So I'm gonna pick a lighter color, but I need to have something more in it. It's just too boring for me. So I'm gonna have this beautiful Lumiere from Jacquard, metallic lime green. Gotta put it in there. And notice that I can go right into the paint with that same brush and mix right on my piece because I'm going from light to dark colors. Light to medium, actually, not dark. So, 
I'm working it in. And the thing is, when you're picking your palette, look at the complements of the paints that you're using. And so, like this lime green has gold in it, so I know that those two colors are going to work together. Even though this is underneath, you still want to do a good job at putting your base coat. I'm the kind of person that paints behind a refrigerator when I'm painting a wall. <laughs> or I take the light switch off when I'm painting a wall. I don't go around it. So same thing you gotta do here. Not worried about any drips. I can just blend them right into the paint. And I'm using the one inch with the handle to just get this area inside. Okay, I'm going to start by looking at the piece, and I have my palette. I'm using the Grumbacher Academy acrylics with the Grumbacher paints. Even though this is an educational paint, they don't get muddy because they use really fine pigment. I'm going to just start by taking a flat. I'm just letting the piece tell me what I'm painting. I'm going from a light to a medium color. I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm still maintaining control, even though I'm painting fast. Using both sides of the brush, this is important too, because I've loaded the brush on both sides, so I'm pulling the paint from both areas. Not worrying about if my lines are perfect. What I'm putting on now is the base coat for the design, believe it or not, because I'll have little designs in each one of these areas because I'm in a circular area and I want it to flow out. And if I want to turn it, I can turn it and follow the shape of the piece. Now I'm going to let this dry before I go into the second phase of putting my abstract design on. I don't really have to think, it just flows out. Because I need more detail, I'm using the black gold with a couple of the black silver brushes. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video here today. Char did a great job. This was so much fun. Leave any and all of your comments below. We'll be sure to get back to you on it. And shop for Dynasty brushes at a local art store.